Research shows that unplugging and taking paid time off can help prevent burnout. But a new study out there finds that the majority of American professionals plan to take shorter vacations this year. Sharon Epperson talked to some executives about how they manage their own vacation time and their employees' time off, too. And Sharon, what did you find? Well, Becky, I found that sometimes vacation isn't all that restful. You know, when the emails and the Slack messages, they just keep coming in. Some companies are trying to do something new, though, to fight burnout and to give employees a real break from their work. Company-wide holidays when everyone is off at the same time. Preeti Joshi is back from a company-wide week-long holiday at Bumble. But like many professionals, she didn't completely disconnect. I also very tactically think about doing a few things when I'm on vacation to kind of help me unplug and also kind of stay plugged in at the same time. A vice president for the dating app platform, she spent that time off with her husband and new baby. When I'm away, I feel like not only am I, you know, refilling my proverbial glass, right? I kind of am able to re get re-energized and just feel ready to tackle whatever problem, question, challenge we may be facing that week. The idea of a company-wide vacation is slowly starting to catch on. Tim Ryan leads PwC's 60,000 U.S. employees. The consulting firm has two company-wide week-long breaks each year. Do you see, um, as a leader, a difference in the productivity of your staff when they come back? It's hard for me to measure and say we've got an increase in productivity since we came back, but qualitatively, Sharon, the energy in the place is just incredible. The energy and, and the enthusiasm is amazing, and that, that translates, to my mind, to productivity and happier clients at the end of the day. Companies are trying new strategies because their employees are stressed out and burned out, and they're taking less time off. A recent Corn Ferry survey found 63% of professionals say they will be taking a shorter vacation this year. 58% say being away from the office stresses them out more now than in the past. Disabling notifications and checking in while she's off helps Joshi manage her stress. For five or ten minutes in the morning every day when my daughter's napping, for example, I'll just do a quick scan of my email. I think it's important for me from a kind of recharge and restorative standpoint to just know what's going on in the background. Many companies understand the importance of time away, but not everyone gets a break. According to the Center for Economic Policy Research, workers in countries in the European Union are guaranteed at least 20 paid vacation days a year. Yet nearly a quarter of American workers, 23 percent, don't have any paid vacation time at all, Becky. Wow. So when companies actually shut down for a week and give employees paid time off, who, who's minding the store? Who's taking care of business? Well, you know, the executives say they may check in a little bit. There may be a few people that are there to monitor the situation. But in the case of PwC, many of their clients are off the same times that they're giving their employees that time off. And they also prep the teams and prep clients, letting them know that this is going to be a shutdown, that these are things that we need to take care of ahead, ahead of time. And one of the things that Prithi Doshi said is that it's important to make sure that the team is aware that she's going on vacation, that she's going to be taking time, and that she does these little check-ins once a day to kind of make sure that everything is running smoothly, but letting her team know not everyone needs to do that. As long as the work gets done, then that's what they care about.